Man, everything sucks right now. Oh, hey Tristan. Um, what are you doing here? Just kind of sitting in the school hallway by yourself. Well, this Sunday is Valentine's Day and I don't know what to get Mia. I mean, I've done everything nice I could possibly think of for her these past couple of years. What do I do? Well, first of all, you haven't exactly been the best boyfriend doer. Where are the chocolates? Well, I ate them. You ate my box of chocolates and put roaches in them. The weird guy in the parking lot who sold it to me said I could only do one recording of a song for you and that I wasn't able to add or remove any songs from there. So I added the story of my life. Hello? Why does it say hello? Well, you know that kid in class who always does those really funny pranks? Well, he said he's stopped pranking and decided to sell me a calculator for only a few bucks. Oh, so I bought it from him. I'm taking you to Cheesy Cheese. Cheesy Cheese? Well, at least this isn't like the Valentine's Day three years ago where you took me to McDonald's. But I'm not gonna judge you guys right now. That's not my goal today. No. Uh, let's see. Did you try just writing her a poem, painting her a nice picture? You know, something romantic like that? Well, I, I can't really draw other than stick figures, and um, the only rhyming I really know is from Dr. Seuss books. My personal favorite being the cat in the hat. Well, this is happening, look. Look, you know Mia well, she's your girlfriend, you love her. Why don't you just take her somewhere she actually likes for a change instead of taking her to the cheesy cheese and McDonald's? I mean, dude, you gotta step up your game if you want Mia to not break up with you, so. Wait, does Mia wanna break up with me? No, you idiot, she loves you. It's just if you keep up this stupid and kind of selfish stuff, she will eventually I mean you eventually you're gonna get tired of cheesy cheese and McDonald's don't you think good point but where could I take her I mean Mia likes so many places places that my mom won't give me the money to take her to because she hates her but uh, I, I don't that's beside the point Tristan I would love to help you but I can't stand Mia so why don't you ask someone who actually tolerates her Samantha Sam, I will do literally anything to make sure Mia has, like, the best Valentine's Day ever, okay? Please? Hmm. I'll comply with your begging, Tristan Jefferson. On one condition, you have to wash my Uncle Guard's car for three weeks. That sounds like a pretty easy bargain. You have a deal, Sam. So what do I need to do to get Mia to have, like, the best Valentine's Day ever? Tristan, Mia is a fancy girl. So please immediately remove any fast food restaurant from your mind. Next, Mia loves figure skating. So take her on a romantic figure skating date. But I only know how to play hockey and curling. Finally, you need something that's flashy, amazing, and lights up the entire sky. You mean like a wedding ring? Because my mom says I'm not allowed to even ask Mia to marry me until I'm like 80 years old, I think. No, you idiot! Fireworks! Nothing says romance like taking a girl you love to see fireworks on the most romantic day of the year, Tristan. I mean, how do you think my Uncle Guard married my Aunt Cornelia? Just a chance? Like he just met her, proposed, and that's it? No, he did not. He wooed her. They make each other happy. That's what makes marriage so great. Samantha, uh, I'm, I'm a teenager. I'm not getting married. My mom says no. Um, she says I'll end up just like Romeo. Um, because, uh, she said Romeo was stupid. So. Well, I knew that. <laughs> Look, just go woo her, Tristan. Make my best friend the happiest she's ever been on Valentine's Day. Which is probably going to be like the first time she's ever been happy on Valentine's Day. Because no offense, but you practically almost ruin the holiday for her every year. Don't worry, Samantha. I'm going to make sure Mia is going to be the happiest she's ever been since she started dating me. Time to go plan. Alright Tristan, I really hope you have a good plan for Valentine's Day, otherwise it will be just another disappointment added to my list. Trust me Mia, you and me, we're gonna have the best Valentine's Day ever. I hope you're right. So, where do you plan to take me to eat? And please don't say a fast food restaurant or I'm just gonna go home and watch like a Valentine's Day special. Even better than a fast food restaurant. Come with me, Mia. We're gonna see some amazing places. Wait a minute, isn't this like... Hey, welcome to Lainey's. My name is Diane. I'll be taking your order today. Can I start you off with some drinks? I'll have some apple juice. Cherry Coke for me, thanks. No problem! After this, I'll be right back with your drinks, and then you can tell me what you want to eat. Alright, so, see ya!
Right, Tristan Jefferson, how the heck did you get this place? Because you know, this is my favorite Italian restaurant in the entire world. So please tell me right now, my dear boyfriend, where did you even get the money to get to this place? Because I know your mother hates me. Basically, I'm going to be washing cars and feeding parrots for like the next 20 years of my life, I think. Wow. Here I thought I'd be needing my sunglasses to hide from the shame I knew you would try and bring me, but... Tristan, that's really sweet, actually. To be honest, I, I kind of thought you would take me to Cheesy Cheese again, considering I know you like to take me to your favorite places, but this is amazing. Just wait, Mia. I've got plenty of places to take you after this. Well, I just hope they're good. Otherwise, I'm going to kick your butt. There will be no butt kicking required. Tristan, you've managed not to make this the worst Valentine's Day ever, but instead the best Valentine's Day ever. Okay, well, it would have been the second worst, but but still, like, wow. Really do try every year to give you the best Valentine's Day ever, because, like, I really like you, Mia. I mean you love me, you idiot. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of the times, you may be a stupid idiot, but you know what? You're my stupid idiot. A stupid idiot who just gave me the best Valentine's Day 